so fast. We didn't even have time to abort unloading. Storm wasn't even that strong at first, but uh, you know, then it picked up. Boy, did it pick up. We started adding more mooring lines, but then the gangway got torn off. It kind of died down by the morning, but the comms were off. And then while we were running about, looking at the damage, the water kind of ebbed down, sandbanks all over the place. Well, as soon as we cast away, we ran aground. Big time. Tried freeing ourselves and got gouged on the rocks. Badly. The only good thing was that there was not enough water left to sink in. The combs were still off, and they wouldn't be much use anyways. No tug could get us out now. Looks like we're all alone here. And there's more oil spilled around us than water now. Nothing to listen to. Jack is fucking barren ranting again. Oh, fuck. Don't, don't shoot. Don't shoot me. I wonder who these newcomers are. Must be a fun... Wait a minute. Are you one of the newcomers? The ones with the train? Hey, uh, look, put that gun away. The spiders won't ever get in here, don't you worry. <sighs> now we're talking. I get nervous around guns, you see. But I've been dead. Hey, hey, come on in. Make yourself at home, brother. So what was I... Ah, of course. I won't get very good with all the spiders around. And they packed the hold full of the Baron's Frankie's bones already. I don't get many guests with all the spiders around. They packed the hold full of the Baron's Frankie's bones already. Well, you must be real lucky to have gotten here in one piece. When I had to run from the gang, I hid here and spent ages watching the damn critters. I thought I was a goner, but it turned out they were afraid of light. So I settled here for good. Now I make my living by collecting the guns and gear from the idiots the spiders catch. And they don't mind. And in my free time, I just scan the radio. So I know pretty much everything that's going on around these parts. These bandits blabber about everything on air. Then again, there's nobody to eavesdrop. Slaves don't have radios. So, as soon as they noticed your train, the Baron got all his people running around in circles. Hey, he thinks you're here to take him out. <laughs> now, you tell me if that Baron is all right upstairs. Certainly looks completely insane to me. A classic case of persecution complex and the delusions of grandeur. <laughs> Say someone did come to take him out. Real classy, like driving a, a fucking train. Fine, let's give him that. But why would they stop at the old station then, eh? Huh? They could stop the train right at the castle gate and have at him! But logical thinking is not among Baron's faults. He's too grand for that now, huh? <laughs> Which will turn out to be his undoing in the end, I think. I will say, though, that if you really do take that Baron bastard out, the whole desert will be kissing your footprints until the end of days. Not to mention my personal thanks. <laughs> well, I've been ranting for too long. <laughs> Have some rest. Use the workbench if you like. In general, make yourself home, as I said. <laughs> I'll uh, stay on the radio in the meantime.
You gave some bandit asses a kicking at the lighthouse, didn't you, eh? Well deserved, and timely. Yule was a menace for the Baron Seeds forever. She spent years inciting the locals to rebel against him. But now, since there are basically no free locals left, I would have gone easy on the troublemaking were I in her shoes. But she didn't, so they finally found her base. Only to have you rain on Baron's parade, eh? <laughs> yeah. So he wasn't cautious of you for nothing after all. I heard the bandits chat on air. Saul went missing with his car. That guy was not your average mook. And his car was not average either. Baron's compliments. In fact, for loyal service. And the Baron does not give presents like they're nothing. You got to have authority to be worthy. Thus, everybody knows who's to blame. The newcomers. They're definitely going for the Baron. For some reason, though, they decided to start with Saul. <laughs> so, uh, what I wanted to say is, if you happen to have this car now, watch out. All the bandits know it, and will open fire as soon as they see you driving it. You won't even try asking first. Personally, I think that Saul got his just desserts here. He's as much of a bastard as the Baron is. Just more of a loser. <laughs> yes. <sighs> now we're talking. I get nervous around guns, you see. There's this Lorenio chap I eavesdropped on here. Someone paid a visit to the Baron's metal salvage. His grunts are in an uproar. They say there was a whole gang. Something tells me, though, that it was the work of one man. Maybe even someone I know. <laughs> I have no idea what you would want from that place, but the fun was worth it. <laughs> Thanks for the giggles. <laughs> the, the idiots must still be running around looking for the attacking gang. Keep going like this. Just gauge your risks before you act. If the bastards shoot you, I'd be bored to death. Well, brother, I won't bore you anymore for some time. Have some rest. And I'll just stay on the radio. Everyone, the better. No, 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 peace off. Sure, sure, sure. I don't, I don't want everyone. Let the boys have some sleep. They'll stop to do tomorrow. It's that piece of shit, Colonel. Colonel. <laughs> yes, it's him that I want. No, that one, that comic would do too. Yes, you'll do. You. The asshole driving around in our car, killing my boys. You motherfucker, listen to me. So you keep driving around looking at how we live. So how... How do you find it? You probably think that we are tyrants. Beasts even. And you are some kind of hero, are you, huh? Liberating the oppressed with that cube. 
the witch. But I see you are not a complete idiot. So you do understand, deep down. You do understand. There is no other way. Man is a beast. A beast! You just let a man run free, and it's a murder spree! Remove the restraint of power and law, and everything turns to the law in the jungle. It's always a bloodbath. A total bloodbath. There must be power. Must be law and order. Believe. Civilization. Don't you see? Because without law, without power, everything is permitted. When they bring a new slave in, it's a total sacrifice. They live in fucking caves now. Forgot everything. What do they get? Life as a hungry egg. A bunch of sickly kids and a death in a demon stomach. They think I get the purpose. They work. They serve. They build. They build a civilization. And you... You want to destroy it, you motherfucker. Destroy my civilization. You piece of shit. Fuck you! You get what I mean. Get the car while you can. I'm getting a drink. <laughs>